So we're doing the Apo Island tomorrow. Got to get ready and be outside here for half six in the morning. Um, we went to a couple of bikes. We've got 150cc and a 200cc, which should be fun. Um, I know how powerful the 150 was when I rode it over in um, Sticky Horse. So the 200 is going to be another extra bit of power that I don't really need. But uh, we're going to be riding about 90 minutes uh, north from Dumaguete to a sandbar, which is meant to be the Maldives of the Philippines. So that should be nice. So uh, we're just about to park our bikes up. We did about an hour and a half. I think it's an hour and a half car journey, so it probably took a lot longer on bikes, maybe two hours. And we get to the, literally just the car, the, the bike park over there. And uh, Rachel gave it a little bit of throttle just to kind of move it forwards. She said that she'd released the throttle, but it kept going anyway, even though she had her hands on the brakes. But she sort of, luckily she was only right next to the wall, so she went into the wall and just grazed her arm down the side of it. We've come right to the very end of the road to the sandbar and we've asked very nicely if we could um, get a boat out to the sandbar so we're paying one of these fellas behind us to take us out there. I've been told that some of the costs for getting out there is about three and a half, four thousand peso. Um, I don't know how true that is but we're paying fifteen hundred so that's from my eyes a bonus. Dying to jump in the water really, it's really warm today. And after all the riding as well, sweating my arms, look at my arms. Can you see how shiny they are? arrived here now, I think we're just finding somewhere to dock, is that the right word? And then we can start jumping in and cooling off. There's also a boat over here that sell like food and drinks so we're not going to be stuck for refreshments. I much prefer having a life vest. I mean, I can swim, but I get tired quite quick. And you know, when you come out here when there's basically just water or boat, um, you want to sort of relax a bit, especially in this weather. So I've gone for a life vest and a white moustache so we can talk to each other. No, so um, I can relax. I can just literally, literally kick my feet up and just float away. When we go to Apple Island, we're going to be renting some snorkel gear, uh, as we will when we do the whale shark snorkeling in Nuzlob next week. Deliberately didn't bring ours because, whilst I'm sure they are better than nothing, they leak very, very easily and very, very quickly. I don't think you could spend a whole day here. It's beautiful, but I don't think you could. I've no idea if this is high tide or low tide. When they say sandbar, I was expecting a bit more sand. <laughs> that wasn't underwater by about eight foot. Well, on the way back down, we'll probably divert to the Twin Lakes and just check those out as well. Look at the water is as well. That cloud doesn't look very happy, does it? It's raining over there. I think it's peeing down over there, guys. Absolutely chucking it which is actually the route we're going to be driving on very, very soon. In many ways, I feel like I should be <coughs> getting out of the water. Not because my friend, <laughs> my friend get wet, I'm already wet. But it looks like thunderclouds, so I'm not really sure if being in the middle of an ocean is a wise idea.
So there's a lot of thunder across the water there, but our route literally takes us round and all the way through it. Rachel's right, just got off the bike a little bit. We haven't even gone anywhere yet, but I think she just caught a rock. The tires just went. I just saw in my mirror. I just saw her go down, and I was like, Shit. she broke a sandal. To be fair, I'm barefoot, but you're not really supposed to go barefoot. So her sandals all a bit. Her hand's been cut. I don't know how deep it is or anything. It just looks like a black gash. It's not the nicest thing to fall down on. This surface is quite rocky. She's just gone to wash her hands back in the sea. This is probably the first time since we've been renting bikes that we haven't took the medikit with us. And I really think that we should have. I want to see if she's all right. Oh, sh Still want to ride? I've got to get back, haven't I? Yeah, I know you got to get back. She lost her confidence a little bit. I don't blame her, I would as well. You can't go too slow. If you go too slow, you end up not being able to stabilise very well. So even though her confidence is low, she's got to go faster. It's about a two hour ride back to the hotel. We're gonna go to the Twin Lakes, but I don't think we will now. And we could really do with putting some creams and stuff on and bandaging her hand up a little bit. So Nurse Evans has been at it once again and I've managed to patch up the wife. Lift a scene of the day. So we're here at Apo Island. It literally translates to Turtle Island. Loads of coral, loads of fish. Um, I highly recommend coming here.